Hey guys, this is our read aloud lesson. Uh, for this week, we're going to need our journeys book. So uh, before we start this lesson, go ahead and try and find your journeys book and open up to page 482 and 483. The read aloud we'll be doing uh, for this week is lunch money. Okay, so our learning goal as we read lunch money, it's going to be, I can describe a character's personality using details from the text. Okay, so go ahead and remember your learning goal. I'm going to start reading Lunch Money on page 483. I'll also stop every now and then, and I may ask for you to do a task or to work with your learning coach. Lunch Money by Andrew Clements, illustrated by Adam Gustafson. I'm looking at this front cover and I see a boy and he's holding a book. I'm guessing that this boy is going to be our main character. I don't know his name yet. And the book that he's holding, I'm not really sure why he's holding a book and what he's doing with that book. So if you have any wonderings before we read this story, go ahead and share that with your learning coach and pause the video. Standing in the cafeteria line, Greg opened his red plastic pencil case. He counted once, and then he counted again, just to be sure. Then he grinned. There were 13 left. Sweet! That means I sold 17 units. That's what Greg called the comic books he'd been selling, units. And selling 17 units before lunch was a new sales record. Greg's comic books weren't the kind for sale at stores. Regular comic books were sort of tall, also a little floppy. Not Greg's. Greg's comic books were about the size of a credit card, and they could stand up on one end all by themselves. They were only 16 pages long, and he could fit about 50 of them into his pencil case. These comic books were short and sturdy, and that's why they were called Chunky Comics. Okay, so so far we know that Greg is our main character, and he likes to sell comic books. We also know that they're different than other comic books sold in the stores. The author gave us six details of how the comic books are different than the stores. Can you find any of those details? Go ahead and share with your learning coach some of those details, how Greg's comic books are different. Okay, did you find that they're smaller than a credit card? Did you find that they could stand up by themselves? Did you find that they are 16 pages long? Did you find that he can fit them into his pencil case, about 50 of them? Did you find that they were short and sturdy? And did you find that they're called Chunky Comics? Greg loved that name. He had chosen it himself. He got to pick the name because he was the author of all the Chunky Comics series. He had drawn all the pictures too. And he was also the, the designer, the printer, and the binder. Plus, he was the marketing manager, the advertising director, and the entire sales force. Chunky Comics was a one kid operation, and that one kid was Greg Kenton. Okay, so now we know that Greg made these comic books all by himself. He did so uh, many things to help create these books. I'm guessing that the author is going to explain how Greg made these books. Greg snapped the pencil case shut and grabbed a tray. He took a grilled cheese sandwich, a cup of carrot sticks, and then looked over the fruit cocktail bowls until he found one with three chunks of cherry. He got a chocolate milk from the cooler, and as he walked toward his seat, Greg did some mental math. Monday, the first day Chunky Comics had gone on sale, he had sold 12 units. Tuesday, 15 units. Wednesday, 18 units. And today, Thursday, he had already sold 17 units before lunch. So, 
That was 62 units since Monday morning, and each little book sold for 25 cents. So the up to the minute sales total for September 12th was $15.50. So what is Greg doing? He's grabbing his lunch, and what is he actually doing? Yes, he's grabbing his lunch, but there's something he's doing inside of his head. Go ahead and pause the video and share what your thoughts are uh, with your learning coach. Let's look at the next page. Oh, look, there's an illustration right there that gives us an idea of what Chunky Comics looks like. Also, it looks like that's Greg and he's holding his pencil box. The little pencil box that he keeps all of his comic books in. Greg knew why sales were increasing. Word of mouth. Kids had been telling other kids about his comic books. The cover illustration was powerful, the inside pictures were strong, and the story was loaded with action. The title was Creon, Return of the Hunter, and it was volume one, number one, the very first of the chunky comics. So that made it a collector's item. Greg sat down at his regular lunch table next to Ted Kendall. Ted nodded and said, hi, but Greg didn't hear him. Greg picked up his sandwich and took a big bite. He chewed the warm bread and the soft cheese, but he didn't taste a thing. Greg was still thinking about sales. So why is Greg ignoring Ted? Stop and jot this in your reading journal uh, right now. Again, why is Greg ignoring Ted? Stop and jot your answer down. 15.50 in three and a half days, not so hot. Greg had set a sales goal for the first week, $25, which meant that he had to sell 100 units. It looked like he was going to fall short. Okay, so let's go back to our learning goal and try and find more information about uh, Greg. We do know that he likes to sell comic books. We do know that he made them by himself, and now we know that he likes to set goals for himself, and that goal was $25. He knew that he was going to fall short. So based on this information, let's draw some conclusions. So we know that Greg is a businessman because he sells comic books and he makes them by himself. We also know that he likes to set goals, so this tells me he is motivated and organized. Okay, so let's go back and look at our learning goal. I can describe a character's personality using details from the text. What I want you to do for your ticket out is, uh, in your own words, tell me what you uh, learned about Greg's personality. Uh, once again, tell me what you learned about Greg's personality. Okay, that's it for our read aloud today. I'll uh, continue with this story with our next lesson. See ya.